What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Harut, back again with another brand new video and a newest segment called Things You Should Know. Today's video is Things You Should Know Before Getting Helix Piercing. So let's begin! So starting off with the video, make sure your ears are nicely clean, earwax free, shampoo free, clean the back of it and the front of it really well. If you have any kind of hair, Make sure to type your hair very well while you pin it up. If you're planning on getting a haircut, I would say get the haircut before you come in, just so there's no complications. Stuff like that. Moving on to the next one, if you're any kind of medication and or blood thinners, I would suggest you not get a pierce because there could be some complications to getting after the piercing. But for any reason you have to, I will consult your piercer and let them know, hey, I'm on some medication. Walk me through it and they'll be happily walking you through the steps. Moving on to the next one, if you're high as a kai and you're drunk in love, I highly suggest you not get your helix pierced because there's a lot of complications during the piercing and after. Just wait till you're sober to get it pierced. Alright? Just not a big deal. Just wait. For my ladies, if you're pregnant and nursing, I highly suggest you not get your helix piercing. Many complications issue with that. You don't want to affect the baby, so just let's not do that, please. We don't want the baby to be hurt or anything like that. Keep it safe. And of course, most importantly, make sure you have your ID on hand. It's super important to make sure you have your ID on hand because you have to be of age to get piercing. Let's say you're underage, bring your mom or dad with you with a proper identification and you're good to go. Don't bring your sister or cousin with you and say they could sign for you or your friend that's 18 because they won't be able to sign for you. If you do have a guardian, make sure that guardianship papers with them just so they have the proper proof when you come in to show that, hey, this is my guardian, I could get pierced. And a little bonus fact for you guys is if you're getting helix piercing, Get it on the side you're not sleeping on. For example, if I want to get it on this side, but I sleep on this side, probably not a good idea to get it on the opposite side. You'll thank me later. That is it for things you should know before getting your helix piercing. If you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe below. Turn on your post notifications by hitting the bell icon to be notified every single time we post. We post every single day. And drop a comment in the comment section below if you want to get a shout out in our vlogs. See you guys next time. Peace.